Tomorrow is a huge day for the Kamala Harris campaign. The vice president is expected to name her running mate before she begins a barnstorming tour of battleground states on Tuesday. Harris and her new vice presidential pick are scheduled to be in Phoenix on Friday. Yesterday, the vice president met with three of the top contenders. A source close to discussions tells NBC News there are more meetings scheduled today with the announcement coming tomorrow. Multiple sources close to the campaign tell NBC News that Harris's running mate will make their debut at a rally in Philadelphia tomorrow and that the announcement most likely will come in a text that's sent to high-ranking Democrats, which is the same way they did it when the President Biden picked Harris. Now, some local high-profile Republicans are calling on voters to make Kamala Harris the next president of the United States for a simple reason. She's not Donald Trump. 12 News journalist Troy Lynch went to their event to see why they aren't voting for their own nominee. One of the biggest reasons I'm voting for Kamala Harris and I would have voted for Joe Biden is that they are not Donald Trump. Not every Arizona Republican is voting red for the next president. We are here to send a clear message. Arizonans are rejecting Donald Trump and his failed leadership. Notable Grand Canyon state Republicans like Mesa Mayor John Giles, former state rep Robin Shaw, and former Scottsdale Mayor Sam Campana all giving their endorsement to Kamala Harris rather than former President Donald Trump. It's a path that can be fraught. Republicans around the country have come out against the former president, dealing with primary opponent, negative ads, and even death threats. Sam Campana believes speaking out is worth the risk. Another Trump term with J.D. Vance would be far worse and would lead our country down a path that I don't think we could ever recover from. Mayor Giles believes that Harris will advocate for middle-class Americans, make sure billionaires pay their share of taxes, and secure the southern border. I know that she will work with, in good faith with Republicans in Congress to address a, a, a congressional legislative fix to our broken border and immigration system. Shaw says she voted for Trump in the past. Looking back, I regret that vote. The three questioning the former president's character and ethics, calling on Republicans to choose country over party and truth over lies. Those experiences shape my vision for a better Arizona, one that priorities around environmental stewardship, cultural enrichment, and strong community values. We reached out to the Arizona GOP, who's expressed their support for Trump, but we did not hear back. For 12 News, I'm Troy Lynch. All right, Troy, thank you. And meanwhile, the Trump Force 47 is launching in Arizona with the grand opening of a new office in Phoenix. Now, this group is run by the Trump campaign and the Republican National Committee. It says it's designed to make it easier for people who support Mr. Trump to volunteer to help his campaign. We have a 12 News crew that